to our uh, Way of Fire festive game. So today we're going to play some Vanguard, Kings of War Vanguards. It's going to be fun. So uh, it's me, Andy, and me, Nick. And me, Kev. Fantastic. So uh, our Vanguard uh, favourites here at the club, aren't you? Yeah, yeah I think so. Most weeks it's me versus Kev. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, we are going to play a slightly adapted scenario. We're going to play the giant scenario, and Nick has actually done something yeah, yeah. different and could be. you know expanded his brain by redesigning a scenario, haven't you? Yeah, with so a festive theme. We're kind of mixing up the giant scenario with the meteor scenario and it's called Drunk Santa. So when you hit Santa it's a polyamorous. It's kind of, yeah. I mean, it, it is. I mean, what is it? It's three to six months. So it's not. It's Fits not you quite well. Surprising. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, have a, I have a surprisingly small head. <laughs> I can't. It looks small. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So when you hit Santa, who is the giant, you uh, he will spread presents and joy Woo! across the field. He has stolen the going. presents from Santa. Though, yeah. So we we then go and steal the presents and. Um, and yeah, if, if Santa catches you, you get put on the naughty list. <laughs> Again? Again. Damn it. <laughs> uh, we are going to be playing a three way. Ooh. Why not, Ross Diggle? Yeah, as I say, good job, Ross isn't here. Yeah. He doesn't watch these ones. <laughs> um, and that's involving, Kev, your uh, multiplayer rules, isn't it? It is, yes. So they're in Ice and Iron. Ice and Iron multiplayer rules. Which involve a deck of cards to determine who goes. They do. Rules. Deck of cards. So none of us have played that. <laughs> okay, okay. No, no. Okay, okay. <laughs> we'll see how that goes on. Uh, we are playing, so there's three of us obviously, uh, 175 points, which is a slightly different size for us normally. It's actually this building issue, actually. Yeah. You're yeah. only allowed four, four of one type, aren't you? Yes. Um, so uh, 175 points just to fit it on the table better. Uh, I will be bringing Forces of Nature. Ooh. Never played them in my life. What are you bringing? So why, let's I'm, have a guess. Well, Hang on, what, let's have a guess. What have I painted? Nick is bringing a hat. Yeah, <laughs> I'm bringing my A game, that's what I'm bringing. What is it you're bringing? Northern Lights. Oh, and Kev? Well, it's Christmas and it's jovial, so I'm playing Orcs. You <laughs> 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 smash them, mate. <laughs> right, well, that's going to be what we're playing, so let's have a little look at the factions. So this is the forces of nature I will be bringing. There is a Glade Walker Druid with Heal, Lightning Bolt and Tanglefoot as his spells. Then there are four Salamander Unblooded. These are Grunts. Uh, two Centaur Bray Striders. These are the smashy smashy ones. And one Fire Elemental who's escaped from the campfire. Uh, so I have some Vicious Orklings. Two Skulks. Uh, Two Axe, one Great Axe, one Godspeaker. What? And <laughs> two Crushers. Filth! The Filth. one on the right has a Potion of Haste. Ooh. He does look the faster of the two. He does fair, look the faster. Yeah. This one looks substantially <laughs> slower on the left than the one on the right. I have two Elf Clansmen, three Huskars. One Snow Troll, one Ice Queen who has the Heal, Lightning Bolt, and Hold Fast spells, and one Thane who has a Buckler. And there is Santa. Well, he's got Santa's sack in Santa's his hand. Santa's little helper. Yeah. So here is the battlefield, the Icy Tundra. In the middle is our giant who has stolen Santa's sack from his sled over there, or sleigh. <laughs> so he may well be dropping some presents out of that sack later on. Why is he pointing at me? Well, there's a reason for that, kid. <laughs> we have Nick with his Northern Alliance over there. He's the only one who's really bought into the theme properly by <laughs> theming his bases, although he's taken a year to do that. And then we've got some uh, Kev's Orcs here split into two... Uh, I'm going to call them battle packs. Yeah. Battle packs. Each led by a, we've just discovered, filthy <laughs> crusher who now has a white power dice. You can see all Kev's power over there. Lots of high, high numbers. You can see my power just here. How amazing that roll was. Um, my nature army here. At least, I've obviously, 
being nature, if you put some difficult terrain in front of them, I'm immediately going to use my ability to walk straight through it <laughs> for no real reason, just because you can. But the reason we started recording is because Kev is going to show us how we do a multiplayer game, of how we, each activation, each round, isn't it? How we start the yeah. round, isn't it? So okay. we've had a card drawn from a normal deck of cards first. So we have, uh, from a normal deck of cards, we take, for three players, we take the cards ace to eight. So there are cards numbered one to eight in the pack, in the deck. Each player gets one card. Now, before we reveal them, you may spend a power to change a card. Oh, After we've looked. After you've looked, yes. Okay. And what do we want? High numbers or low numbers? L well, low numbers goes first. Mm, okay, I'll stick. Mm, so then we start. So who's got so one? Not me. Two? Not me. Three? Not me. Four? Me! Ha ha ha, fool! <laughs> right. Oh, where you go? Right, right. So we're going to play the scenario slightly modified. You get a victory point for doing a wound on the giant. You also, if you do a wound, he'll drop a present, one of those little presents there. And if you pick that up, you'll get another victory point, and you'll gain a piece of equipment from the normal equipment deck, which is over there. And if that piece of equipment, you can use that, and you'll score another victory point at the end of the game. Have I done that right? No, you get a victory point if you keep it at the end of the yes, game. That's right, you don't get one for picking up. The only downside is if it's a one-use victory po uh, piece of equipment, and you use it, that's it. No victory points for you. You've ruined Christmas <laughs> yeah. by opening your presents early. <laughs> Nick is opening the game, move forward with his elf, shooting on the giant. See what he does? Ooh. Oh, well, the giant's got. Yeah, the giant's got dodge, so I imagine he'll dodge his eight. So I have one hit on the giant. Oh, getting a bit of light reflex there. One hit. He's got uh, armor three. Armor armor three. three. Jeez. So if you want to roll that, do I roll that? Ooh, yeah, you're right. I don't want to save it. Yay! You didn't save it, so it's a wound. Yay! So a wound on the giant. Get a victory point for wounding the giant. So we don't recall the wounds on the giant. He has, for the purposes of the game, millions of wounds. And, and he's dropped a present just in front of Nick. Oh, oh he's really so there. generous. Uh, going back to the three player rules, so Nick went first on the four, then I got a five, so I'll be going next, and then of course that leaves Kev on his six going last. So there was an opportunity after looking at your card to spend a power to redo it, you said, wasn't there? But none of us chose to do that. But Kev's happy with that because he wants to get smashed later, doesn't he? He wants to <laughs> smash, right. smash face. So I just moved a salamander unblooded up here. Uh, Kev moved across one of his uh, axe. Cool, then. And then to get the present, Nick has a run up and then fatigued to pick up the present with his elf. So, so he gets to draw the get. top card. Oh, you do as well for one power, you get to invoke Christmas magic and transfer the present to anyone you want to on the table. On the table? On the table. So I could give it to Kev if I really wanted that to. Give is it to you if I to. That is broken. That is <laughs> broken. You're not going to. You can give it to the person It's, it's a magical away. time of giving. It's a magical time of year. Well, that, well that's useful. What have you got? What was the present? You're going to keep it to yourself, aren't you? I got a bow! She's nice. <laughs> you already got a bow! I already got one! Do you know when oh. you get that present from your grandparents oh. yeah. and you're like, Oh, I'm trying to smile, but I've already got it! <laughs> well, what I'm going to do... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Sorry, out. sorry Nanny, she's been dead for a while now, so... <laughs> she's not going to hear, I don't think. <laughs> I'm going to spend power, and I'm going to transfer that. To one of my Huskarls. Ooh, he's a cheeky little fellow, isn't he? He's cheeky. Yeah, Merry Christmas, Huskarl! Merry Christmas! Huskarl. Another salamander moved up there, and then Kev has moved around with a skulk, who's going to shoot onto the elf, who now no longer has a present to hide behind. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a clear shot. Uh, you're not rolling the right number of dice, are you, for a clear shot? I am, yeah. And that was saved. Yes. All right. What's happened? You fatigued, haven't you? Yeah, <laughs> fatigued. So fatigued, fatigued yeah. force fatigued to shoot again and two hits. Nick, two are you going to survive I'm that? Do you think? The elf. Spend the power to chuck another one in. Saving on fives. Oh, just Ooh. one. Yay! Two. He loves it. Ding. Do you know when you open your Christmas presents and you just want to take it straight outside? <laughs> Get the first use so of it. Go out and play. So the Huskarl is using his new found bow, gifted by his best friend, Mr. <laughs> Pointy Years. He's going to shoot at the uh, shoot at giant. Santa. Just one dice, is it? It's just one dice. Hitting on a five, I believe, so 
unlikely to do anything. Oh, he's got a hit! Got a hit, but Santa so, has Santa armor dodge three. Dodge. Oh yeah, dodge it. Yeah, yeah, first off. Oh, he's got a hit again. Hit again. So he's got dodge he's on and three. it's armor three. Yeah. It's oh, another oh, three. Oh. Nick is on oh, fire. Yes. So I get another victory point. For <laughs> Nick's won the game already. Causing more damage. Oh yeah, and he's going to spew out another present. He's going to spew out another present. So, so D8 to see where the present way. spews out. Yeah, so one going to go around. One, so two, three, four, you. five, six. Yes, towards this corner and over here. Oh, go straight then. towards all my salamanders. Oh, no, that, that's not good. Oh, oh it's nine, nine inches. Nine inches from the edge of that the is Santa's perfect. Place. Land right in the ice, right there. So you can have we'll that. have a little present come down. Wee! Plop. A little present over there. Oh, that looks a good present. I can almost, I can almost hear it. Are you going to pick it's it up? It's electronic, it. electronic goods. <laughs> I've shaken it. It didn't crack, so it's not a mini vase. <laughs> Very nice. Ticking? Thank you, Santa Giant. I've moved my fire elemental over here. Um, I paid a power earlier on to use my forest special dwellers. rule, forest dwellers, so I can run through this difficult terrain for free. It's not very foresty, but they're <laughs> equally deft. Like Bambi, that's what they are, <laughs> like that scene in Bambi. So um, my fire elemental has run over there, and he's actually going to shoot at the giant. I positioned him so he could have shot the grunt if I wanted, but I've only got one option. I've fatigued to shoot, shoot the giant. So I get three dice. I can modify it, can't I? It's a normal shoot action, isn't it? Yeah. yeah so it's yeah, actually yeah. a clear shot then. Uh, and I'll... You get clear shot on both. Yeah. No clear shot, but I'll throw an extra one in with a power. Okay, so I've got four dice on fives. fives. Always on fives, irrespective of any modifiers. Anyway, terrible. One, one hit. She'll try and dodge. She'll parry. Yeah, dodge. And he does. Oh. Kids moved up with another skull. Can shoot a giant this time? Elf was too easy. Oh. To Elf was too easy. Oh. To hit. Would he like to try and dodge one of those? <laughs> yeah, I don't think he needs to dodge. I don't think he needs to dodge that. Uh, Nick has just moved up with the troll, and I have run up with my Glade Walker Druid, and he's fatigued to pick up a present. Oh, I always film opening presents on a Christmas day. It's another bloody bow. <laughs> <laughs> Who shuffles these? That's terrible. Actually, that's not terrible because he can he actually shoot. He can actually do so now as a short action. <laughs> <laughs> Force yeah. fatigue on that skulk. Another shot at the giant. See if he can do any better. Last time! Marginally. Parry. Uh, Parry is that, yeah. Dodges it. Hits. Hits. Oh, it's a hit. Three, three plus, and he saves it. Go on, Kev. Oh, the armor oh. on is just too good. <laughs> so having to it's roll your own armor it's saves is not good, is it? It's orc arrows. <laughs> Just a bit of movement, so Kev has moved some of his uh, orcs over that way. Nick has moved some of his other models over that way as well, including his Huskar. I've moved uh, same one centre over there and another one over here, and just the salamanders holding the centre. Obviously, at the beginning of the next round is when the giant will move. Just before we get there, the God Speaker is casting God Fuel. God Fuel. So four d8 for every five plus, I can remove one fatigue counter from a model within six. Mm. So that's one then. That's one. So one of those ones off there. So haven't you got four power left anyway? Yeah. Uh, and I think I then get fatigued. And then I just take shot uh, my elf. And then I force fatigue on that skull, who's just had his fatigue removed, to shoot the elf again for the third, for the third time, time of asking. Oh, this Ooh, time he gets a single go. hit on an eight. Another oh, eight, here, here it goes, here it goes, here it goes, here it goes. Just two, but this two is an elf hits. at the end of the it's day. It's an elf, she's going to spend the power. Yeah, surviving so on sixes. On fives. fives. We have surprisingly good armour, do we, elves? Uh, oh, fine. she loves no! it. They just will not die. This is Christmas. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> elves don't die at Christmas <laughs> unless you don't open your presents. <laughs> yes. For every present not opened, elves <laughs> die. I can just picture this elf now, like um, Will Farrell. It's <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>, Santa! <laughs> so The next round, and the giant has decided to walk towards my glade, straight towards my glade walk. Who's <laughs> just got the present? He's clearly <laughs> nipped about that. So how far is he going to oh, walk? He's going to walk 9 he's inches! Going 15 inches! 15 inches! Fifteen inches plus 8. D8 plus giant. 8, that's yep. broken. <laughs> He's literally walked through so, the salamander and the glade uh, walker. I, I believe if it's within 2 inches, they take it, don't they? Well, that would be three salamanders and the glade walker. That's the yeah, entire yeah, yeah. faction destroyed. Although he's over my corner now, which is something. 
comes within two inches of is immediately put on the naughty list. Right, well, there we go. Does he come within two inches of him as well? Yeah, he did, yeah. So, so all three days. of those salamanders unblooded. And he well, they're not unblooded anymore. <laughs> they're yeah. now officially yeah. blooded. Right. My blooded salamanders and my glade walker. Well, let's come back and see how dead they are in a second. <laughs> Okay, 68 for every attack. So we'll start on the end and work oh, our way no, along. No. We'll crush two and pound as well. So they'll be knocked down probably, hitting yeah. on five. So the first one, uh, so it's three hits. So he is knocked, is knocked down. down. Um, I will just crush two. Oh, what's yeah. the armor? Five, five. jeez. Uh, I'm gonna keep my faction alive. So um, sevens, uh, one eight. So, he's knocked over, but he's alive. That's the first of the useless ones. And then the next useless one. Uh, ouch, 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 ouch. Three at the minute with an eight. Three. Uh, he's just going to take this one on the chin, this fella. So he's on sevens. He is squished because he's a grunt. And he has two wounds, but he is squished. Gladewalker drew it on. Oh, no, <laughs> this could be bad. This is a, do you know what, Nick? This is a rubbish scenario you've written. Uh, <laughs> this is straight from the Giants map. Two at the minute. Three! No! No! I'm using the wrong dice! Four hits. Well, I've definitely thrown a power at that. Um, God dear, what's a Glade Walker's armour is five, so it's sevens. Oh, I've got two at the minute. I'm an eight. Two, and how many did I get? A uh, four... You've got five hits, you've taken three damage. Three, four, five. No, I've got four hits, didn't I? Because I added extra dice. Four. So I've, uh, I've got taken two wounds. He's only got three. <laughs> Sugar. He's on the floor. And on top of that... Da -da 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 -da, you lose your present. Ah! collects presents that are lying on the deck, surely. No, I'm pretty sure I said. Uh, well, let's come back to that. I'll do it. So the last unblooded is also blooded on three hits at the minute. I'll throw a power into that as well. So that takes him to sevens again. Uh, oh, he loves it. He loves it. But he is still knocked down as well. So these two salamanders down, one dead, and a glade walker knocked down and wounded with two wounds. That is not a great start <laughs> to round two. <laughs> so um, that was before we actually even activated anyone. So we had rolled our power. So Kev, what happens in a multiplayer game in round two? So in round two, we each receive one card. Whoever finished first. That would be Nick. He gets yeah. two cards, may look at them and discard one. So that gives him an advantage in choosing to have a low card to go first Correct. or a higher card to go second. Um, Particularly he knows where the giant is in this scenario as well, mm. which is useful. And whoever finished last... That would be you, Nick, Kev. Yeah. ...gets two cards. Oh, that's good, though. They may look at them, Yeah. but they have to add the scores together. Oh, that's unfortunate, because that could be, obviously, 16. <laughs> <laughs> Which would definitely make you laugh. 16 will be a challenge. Yes, so, yeah, 15 yeah. 15 will be okay. Okay. Oh, yes, because it's only one to eight, isn't yeah. it? Sorry, yes, yeah, sorry, yeah. Right, uh, okay, so um, who has card number one? Well, not Kev, obviously. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change a card for power. Right, yes, yeah, so you can spend a power to change a card. Ooh, seven's gone out. <gasps> He's got another six or an eight there, hasn't he? Yeah. Okay. So we count up from one to see who goes first. One. No. Nope. Two. Yes. Oh, Nick, straight into it again. Straight in. And that nasty little skulk keeps taking shots at my. He's a bit He's far away, elf. isn't he? Well, if he can reach me, I yeah. can reach him. Oh, He's that's true. Yeah, no, yeah, of course he was shooting you, wasn't he? Uh, so Elf is shot. shooting oh, at. Oh, I was. I'm, I'm hiding. No, you yeah, you he, was he was shooting. He was shooting at the orc. This one. Which one are you shooting at? I'm shooting at this one. one. Ah, right, yeah. So you're you're hiding around the edge. That's you know, clear. Like a power. <laughs> <laughs> that is a classic Kevin. Power gamer. Clear shot. Clear shot. I'm um, impartial. And it's, <laughs> <laughs> and it's killing Kevin. Well, no, I, no, as Kev says, I can't see his whole base, so it's not a clear you can. shot. I can't. I can't see that corner. So you don't have to see that corner. Like... You have to be able to see that corner. <laughs> clear shot. Uh, Elf Glansman. Terrible um, shot. Um, he's, he's only a grunt, isn't he? Mm -hmm. so I'm got two wounds there. That. Can't have two wounds if he's a grunt, is he? Yeah, he's yeah. all, they've all got two blooming wounds. Oh, it's a good hit though. Oh, three hits. Three hits. Take uh, that, Skulky. I think I'm now on a six, aren't I? 
six. Yeah, armor got nerfed a bit. So I'll try. Keep him alive. Uh, he's not alive on that. He is dead. Bang. Two wounds, not saving him there. Yeah, shoot at me, will you? Yeah. Extra activation, control <laughs> is going to run, <laughs> avoiding the terrain, <laughs> and then fatigue to fight smack, my smack, centaur. Smack, smack, smack. So it is 48 base. Centaurs are nasty things, aren't they? Uh, well, they're not that strong in defense. I'll throw another one in. 58. Yep. And on five, and I'm crushing two. You suck. Well, that's not great. Is it? <laughs> Just so one, one hit. Love it. Uh, crushing to two. Uh, okay. Well, I am armor five. I roll this, don't I? Mm. So I'm going to spend a power on it. Uh, so I need two dice on sevens. No. So it takes a wound. Uh, but I can live with a wound. He's got three. So I can live with that. Uh, I will retaliate. Yes, I will retaliate with my two dice. And I'll spend a power to give him an extra one. Gives me three dice. I've got a heavy weapon on these which I bought, which I didn't oh. say before. So they're hitting on <laughs> fours. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> what's your height? Your height is three, unfortunately, yeah. isn't it? So I don't get my cavalry bonus. Just one hit. One hit. At crush one. Um, now I'll keep on on power for now. So I am saving on fives. No! Take that, loser. That didn't go very well. Uh, next up is me on a six because Kev replaced his seven with an eight. <laughs> you mean he needs a twelve, so obviously he has to go last. Um, and the only way he's really going to not go last in the future is if he burns those of power to increase his activations, actually, isn't it? That would be the only way of improving your mm. odds slightly. I am going to activate my flamer, who's going to flame those two oh. models who are lying there. In fact, I might even be a swizz and flame even more. Hmm, one second. You can do, yeah. So I've activated my fire element, we've moved up to the defensive terrain, and he's going to flame with his breath weapon onto both of those. That's a crusher, a grunt, uh, not a grunt, an axe, yeah. and just onto the, the skulk. skulk at the back. You can, uh, you can boost it to piercing for power as well, I think. Do it! <laughs> yeah, I'm going to use Nature's Inferno, which does seem quite costly at two power, but it is hitting three orcs. And it'll give it piercing one, so it's probably a bit of a waste, but we're going to do it anyway. So three dice, uh, we roll for each individually, do we? Yeah. So it's uh, hitting on fives. We're going to start. Hitting on fives, yeah, we'll start on the, yeah, the on axe. The on the axe. Yeah. Nope, that was pointless. And then on the crusher. Oh, oh my really? goodness, that's exactly the same roll. On the skulk. Oh, well that... <laughs> That was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I literally have no words. <laughs> I rolled eight to crush my own models with a giant. That's you. That's you, Gog. And I've gone all over here, put a model in an exposed position, spent two power, and rolled a grand total of eight on six dice. Sorry, nine dice. Come on, I am nine dice. Oh, that's awful. I'll speak him. Or her. And they're going to shoot. Can't always tell those. <laughs> they're also beautiful. Going to shoot into that combat. Shoot. But Nick, you can't shoot into combat. Aha, but you can in a multiplayer game. Yeah, because neither of them are on your side, so you don't yeah. care. I don't care who I hit in that. It's well, a big whirling mess of flame and still, orc. Still shoot the Orklings. No, I don't care. <laughs> so clear shot on the Orklings. So it'll be a clear, clear shot. shot. So you get the clear shot bonus, yeah. Um, when do you when do you roll to see which one of the after you've hit after you've, hit. So after you've yeah. done the hits? So these are in the multiplayer rules in Ice and Iron. So, so yes, you hit the Orklings. They're the only ones in range, actually. Yeah. But you can still randomly get one of the other combatants. Because it's a swirling melee. Just so one, one hit. One hit. That's not. So now we ideal. now you roll 50-50. Well, but all well. the models engaging the Orklings. Ah, okay. ah. Engaging the so one to four is the Orkling, shall we say? Yeah. Yeah. It's the Orklings. It's the well, they are in a way, aren't they? So now you get the rear bonus because you're shooting at the yeah, Orklings. So it counts as piercing one. one. Yeah. So one hit, piercing one on the Orklings. They are wounded. One wound. But they have about they two have or three. Wound. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I stood up one of my sleeping salamanders and walked him into engagement with the ogre. Not fighting because I can fight with the centaur in a bit and then gain a bonus for a friend. And then Nick 
Uh, sorry, Nick. So uh, Kev has activated a skulk who's going to do try and kill finally <laughs> this elf over here with a clear shot oh! and it's two hits with an eight. This is the moment three hits, three hits. or it might be a squished elf. You gonna spend any power on that? I am. He is. I am. This elf is four dice on five. <laughs> Oh, he, loves he loves it! <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're scared, Skull. He's, he's never gonna die! To mate never gonna that. die! Care spend a power. Next activation is now charging with one of his crushers. So, three dice base. Isn't that a milk base drink? Crusher. Crusher. <laughs> <laughs> Two for Swarm. Uh, yes, because not fatigued. On fours. Well, we will be hits then. Uh, did you get a charge oh. bonus? Uh, no, no, I'm going no, to say, just for the swarm. Uh, okay, how many is that? Uh, that's five, six. What's your crush one? Crush one, so no. Uh, yeah, I'm on to five. Fours, because you're behind an obstacle. Oh, yeah, fours. Oh, that's all right. Uh, I've got three at the minute. One, eight, four. So I take two more wounds, which is enough. To put him down, actually, um, he's on a nerve four. No inspiring, he's over the way over there. So four plus. Oh, he's oh. gone! The fire elemental has oh, dissipated. Dear. He has been doused. <laughs> Things aren't looking great for Andy Vorband here. Well, well, you might say that, Nick, and you've been entirely correct. <laughs> <laughs> Most of them are sleeping still. <laughs> it's the nightmare before Christmas. <laughs> Nick's just run over his Ice Queen and then fatigued to cast Hold Fast onto the troll, which does what, Nick? Uh, because it was a short action, he gets one extra armor dice and plus one to his nerve. If it was a long action, he'd get plus two to his nerve. Which means Nick is obviously scared of my centaur. And so for that, I will now crush his dreams with my centaur. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with a mighty three dice and an extra dice for having a friend. Oh no, it's three dice, it's two dice, and then an extra dice for having a friend. So you want to roll your headstrong check? First? Oh yeah, headstrong. Uh, five plus? Six plus. Six plus? Nope, not headstrong. So still fatigued. So just two dice and an extra one for a friend. So a mighty three dice. One hit. Hitting on fours, just one measly hit. One but we've crushed hit. one, we've crushed one. Uh, I have hold fast, so I'm saving on fives. Oh, oh, another wound. wound, peppering, peppering away at him. So I have three left. T Retaliating T with the troll, the heavily wounded troll, I just want to point that out. Um, I'll throw a power in to get another smacky smack. So retaliating against the centaur with an extra power, because you want Hit five dice now. Fives. Got a whiff two. again. Oh dear. <laughs> There we go. It's five. five crush two. Crush two. My armor is five. Yeah. And my, uh, yeah, I think you have. So you knocked me over. No, I do have vicious. Thank you for sevens. I need. Oh, I've saved three. That's not bad. And two eights. And another eight. Oh. Come on, come on. Take one wound. Take one wound. He's, he's right. still alive because he's got oh. three. <laughs> In your face, troll. Kevin's unleashing the wah <laughs> with his skulk again. Drink. Oh no! <laughs> wah! Still crunching. Wah! Wah! Never mind, Kev. Never mind, Dad. Pascal's come running in to attack my salamander and fatigue and to fight me. So, so is it just 3d8 buff? Three. Base. Uh, yeah, 3d8 base plus one for a friend. Uh, friend's uh, fatigue. Ah, no fatigue, so I don't get the plus mm. one for a friend. It's 3d8 base. Hitting on five. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, there's three hits right there. Uh, I am armor five. Any crush? Crush one. Six is. Shocking. Oh dear. He'll be dead then, because he's a grunt. <sighs> uh, forgot to check that I'm actually steady as a Glade Walker Druid, so I didn't get knocked down. Before, which actually means I would have to face that direction, isn't it? Mm. So that's a problem. Uh, you are now allowed to pivot on the spot. Free oh, all right, so okay. Long yeah. There we go. So I new FAQ. I will pivot on the spot then, and I will lightning bolt the giant, uh, which is clear shot. Three, three dice. Three, three dice, marksman. As it's, yeah, so it goes four. to four dice for a clear shot, and marksman re-rolling ones. Normally hitting on fives. 
Oh, oh, re rolling the ones. Is it still fives in the. What's the. Is it off my range stat? Yeah, it's off yes. your range stat. So re rolling all the ones. I actually get three hits at piercing one, nice. which is. I think it's irrelevant, isn't it? Good. It's a giant. Yes, it's reduced. It's, um... Piercing or crushing is reduced by two. Oh, right, okay. So it's just armor three. Yeah. See if I get any wounds. It gets a is wound! It? Oh, no. Yay! No. A victory point and throws presents into the air! Whee! And oh, throwing oh. out presents. Onto the ice again for my models to pick up. Yay! <laughs> Deagle, I'll just move there so that, yes, I'm directly in line of one march, but I'm possibly out of some of the other directions he could walk. Possibly. <laughs> Godspeed, you just moved up there to support uh, the right flank of Kev's force, and then an elf is repositioned to shoot the grunt. So, clear shot, three dice. Hitting on fours. Two hits. Two hits. Seven on fives. A wound, wound on the grunt. Another salamander has stood up, walked across there, and you'll notice there's no present. <laughs> Christmas has come early to the salamanders. What's the chance of another bow? It's an explorer's map. Ooh. <laughs> I must draw that again. I think. It's, only a, it's only a use in campaign. Draw it again. It's worth points. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. it's worth <laughs> I'm keeping it. Well, you're trying to sell my points away. <laughs> points that. It's a useless explorer. I mean, look, as an explorer's map, there's nothing on the map. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder it's useless. Uh, Huskarl's moved up with a bow, with his, his Christmas with present. His Christmas present. He's going to clear shot onto to the use. wounded axe. Ooh. I had a plan, but it's born to be. <laughs> so, one dice base, is it? Uh, yes, so it's clear yep. shot, so, so it's two hit hits. or five, so one hit. Well, we saved it though. Oh. Got the shield up. Uh, I have charged onto the Orklings with this salamander unblooded. Uh, he's actually the only unblooded one. <laughs> Everyone else got up there. <laughs> he's the only one who didn't go down like a 10 pin. Um, it's a charge, but he doesn't get any bonus for it because he had to go over difficult terrain. So he just punched normal two base attack on fours. Oh, of course. Just one hit, but it is crushed one. So it's a wound on the Orklings, which should kill them. Yeah. Yay. And I will consolidate somewhere else. I fatigue to walk him into the, back into the difficult terrain just to try and keep my little gang together. <laughs> what's left of them? He can't charge you, can he? Because everyone's already activated. Mm. Uh, Nick has taken the bait yes, he's he so worried about. Yes, he can. Because he's got the <laughs> brute. <of> <laughs> and charge he's got this that irritating guy. spell that removes. Uh, well, that's not it. You've got brute haste on him. I've got brute haste on him, so I can force fatigue him and charge. So Nick's been worrying about the bait of this axe down here and has oh, well. now given up and charged him and then has just realised as immediately as he did it that the brew of haste on this crusher will obviously allow a charge for a short action which will kill him. Um, well, I'm not necessarily I'm not, I'm actually. I'm not sure it will actually. Necessarily, yeah. So Huskar, oh, fighting the axe. Fives. One hit, he might not even kill the orc so it'll be fine. Mm. Crush one is he? He's crushed one. Uh, See, he's done him. He's dud. And then Nick consolidated into the rear arc, so he can't. Now Kev can't do his cheaty little thing. <laughs> so he's going to save his last power. Uh, I've got one model left to go, and Nick's got one model I've left to go as well. Go. So Kev's finished first. My last action was to run with this centaur and fatigue to fight the giant. Trying to guess, I'm going to win this game on points, even if yeah, I, say, yes. I have no models left whatsoever. So I get 2d8. Uh, do I get my cavalry bonus? Am I taller than him? No, not really. Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 2d8 on fours. It's two hits! Two hits. Crush one, which is irrelevant, because he, no, he yeah. ignores two points on of crush, isn't it? Uh, no, he only, he only ignores it on shooting, so you do get a crushing. Oh, fours! Do I get one wound? I only get a point you per only, wound, isn't no, it? No, for, per for any damage. For doing damage, yeah. Oh, he gets another point! Yeah, And another present! Another present! It's raining presents from on high! In a roll direction? The giant really does love the forces of nature. <laughs> Look at the presents he's dropping for them! Look at that! Another one right in my army! Love it. These two get carried away. So when I go and make a cup of tea, they start rolling dice. So what happened, Kev? So the Thane charged in. Uh, against the more, uh, against the, great the Great Axe. axe. The Great yeah. Axe parried it with his axe. He's got parry? Oh, he's got buckler. Well, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. He, but he, he made his arm saves, which is quite unusual okay. for a Great Axe. Huh? And he then uh, swatted the Thane down to one wound. 
Down to one wound. Yeah. Two Who wounds. Who does it? have parry and parried nothing? That would have been dramatic if only we'd filmed it. Yeah. <laughs> so that is going to be the end of round two, isn't it? It is. Yeah. But I finished first. Kev finished second. I Kev finished, finished last. Yeah. And the current victory points are Nick on two, Kev on zero, yeah. and Andy on two. State yeah. of play. Uh, Nick seems to be putting himself around a bit, so to speak, doesn't he? He's got yeah, models all I've, over the field. I've split my force somewhat here. My tiny little force is there. Kev has also split his force a fair bit, and he seems to be trying to avoid the giant as much as possible. We need to start and find out where the, dry, where we the will. giant treads on now. Yeah, as soon as we've uh, rolled our power, we'll do that. So... Uh, Kev spent a power to change one of his cards, got rid of his seven for something else. I had my, lucky I had my two cards and I've chosen one of them. And Nick has two cards and he has to have both of them. Look at that face. <laughs> Sad face. But more important than that, it's a giant. It's a giant. He's going to smash all of my models. Right. So right. Should, should we make Andy roll for it? Be yes. Oh, you hate you. No. Two. Oh, that's not... <laughs> Not good. <laughs> Not good at all. And how far does he go, Andy? Oh, he's going to scoop back up his present. He goes four plus, what were we saying? Four plus eight, so he goes... Twelve, 12 inches. inches. Up in. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it looks to me like it's only these two. You've got a breakaway over here. Yeah. And these two so a breakaway, if we do that one first, it's just one arm. He picks up the present, which is yeah, annoying. Yeah, he scoops up his present again. Uh, so the breakaway is just one armour save, no effect on it, just like any other breakaway. Oh, of course. <laughs> So it takes a wound, and then these guys do the same as before. So it was six dice six. on fives Boom's on my Glade wound. Walker first. Oh! oh, one hit. I love it. It is in my rear. Does that count? No. So I am on a seven then. Uh, for what it's worth, I'm going to spend a power on it because it'll be dead otherwise. Uh, he saves it. He saves it. Oh. And is not knocked down because you've only got one hit. Uh, on the salamander, soon to be blooded, who has an explorer's map in his pocket. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Oh. Four. Four. Oh. He dead. <laughs> um, he's surviving on sevens. He dead. There is the explorer's map. Neatly wrapped back up in the past. <laughs> <laughs> He's very fastidious, this uh, yeah, yeah. this giant. Um, but oh, God Almighty! <laughs> Let's just carry on playing. It's not gone well for Andy so far. <laughs> uh, but uh, who gets to go first? Okay, start counting up from one. One. Ta-da! Oh! More presents, please. <laughs> right. I'm going to activate the centaur. Before I do that, I'm going to play my nature's ability, yeah. uh, pathfinder thing. So we'll run all the way over there. In fact, it doesn't need to run, I don't think. Uh, just double check that it's nah. like seven inches. I think it's fine. Yeah, it's not uh, no, he probably does have to go, actually. So he'll have to run and then fatigue to pick up the present. He has the explorer's map back in his hands. <laughs> <laughs> So we just get that rule, a right? five for Kev and a combined five for Nick. And in the case of a tie, the person who uh, has two cards goes last. So, sorry, Nick. I like that here. Yeah. That Smashed with the Gurtex. Uh, three dice and uh, add one for power. Hit on fours, isn't it? Yeah. Out, Chihuahua. Just two. Oh, Harry that two. seven. Two at uh, crush two, I think. Crush two. I will throw a power into that. So is that, that going to be fives or sixes for you? Uh, that uh, sorry, is sorry, sixes or sevens. Sixes. Sixes. Uh, one so far. He's taking a wound. That will kill him at the minute, or potentially. Oh, oh he's down. Oh, he's down. Down. Nerve check. So nerve check. This is a way to kill your leader. Check, Lesson one hundred and one: How to kill your leader. Oh, uh, he's inspiring. <laughs> he's only Whoa. just inspiring. Okay. I'll spend the power to use my steady ability. So on a five, I am not knocked down. Oh! No. So he burnt two power, lost a wound, just about <laughs> clung on to life. 
Bumfly. Kev is strangely contemplating an extra activation. Possibly with his One crusher. Could possibly do. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm just. I don't know if that's what he's going to do. Against the Thane, lying prone. Yeah, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, so he's squeezing I'm in there. Send my crusher yeah, in. Yeah, crusher's going to do it. Sounds, sounds right. For a man who's lying on the floor. So that's three dice, one for charge. One for friend. One for, friend. One for a friend. Any more? Is that enough, do you one think? Hit on the floor. Plus one's hit because you're on the floor, yes. Yeah. So I'm hitting on threes. And I'm vicious. Four. Four hits, uh, crush uh, two. Is that including the extra one for being on the floor? Yeah. I'm going to throw, I think I might throw in a power there. Still not going to be enough, mate. Uh, I, I, I can make you parry one. I can parry one, so I will. Are you sure you want to do it? Yeah. <laughs> so, four hits. I'm saving on sixes. Need to save them all. all Need to save five of them anyway. All these but one. No, I'll save them all. Go on. Come on. Save them all. Sixes. No. Saves two. He is squished. He did. That, what you need is not non-metallic paint. You need proper uh, metallic paint. That'll keep you alive. What I need is to not take obvious bait. Yeah, that was a mistake, wasn't it? I think we're all glad you did it. Yeah. <laughs> Reverting to form, Nick is going to use his archer think, to think, try and kill us. If he survives this, the Scots are going to charge us. <laughs> we promoted. And on fours. Three hits. Three hits. Oh. Armour five. Six. Six, yes, of course. Still got two wounds, though. Oh, oh he saved one. He's alive! Wounded but alive! <laughs> Why won't you die? Love it. Ah. I activate my Glade Walker, it's going to cast Heal on the Centaur next turn because I can't cast it myself, annoyingly. <laughs> um, so any sixes, it's a healed a wound. Yeah, so I've healed Definitely the wounds. one wound that the Centaur had, and that's it. Speaker is reversed behind the Huskarl and it's going to fireball in the rear. So, clear shot. Add a dice. Oof. So is that four dice now? Three base. Yeah. Hitting on fives, I think. Hitting on fours. Fours? Oh! Three. Needed the fours. Because you're in the rear. Yep. So I'm saving on fives. Any power in this? I've only got two left. No. Fives. Dead Huskarl! Dead Huskar. <laughs> so uh, two wounds. It's going to put him down. Nerve yeah, check. Nerve check. Base nerve check. Five, I think. Four. Four? Oh, what? Oh, oh what was it on the thank edge? You, thank you, thank you. Was it a three or something, was it? I think it was one. Survives. <laughs> works. Nick spent a, works. Nick's grumpy because he spent a power to do his steady rule. Five plus, he would have stayed standing up because he's worried about. Kev charging him with his potion of haste on his crusher, and uh, he failed the roll, of course, which is why you can see him doing the standard Nick face. <laughs> uh, Nick's activation was a uh, exciting standing back up with the Huskar because if he didn't, he would have been dead. Uh, and then I just did another exciting action, and this fatigued salamander just moved a bit closer to his friends, and he's going to stand there. <laughs> Most boring combat in the world. This skulk has activated, and he's going to shoot the owl. <laughs> Oh, Ooh, it's a decent hit. Two hits with an eight. Two. Only got one power left. This could be the moment he dies, though. How many wounds they got on themselves? One is a grunt. <laughs> Shoot enough arrows at him. One of them might catch him in the foot. This is your favourite elf as well, <laughs> isn't yeah, it? Yeah, favourite elf. Yeah. But I'm, I, I, I could waste what dilemmas? Power. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? Oh, he's wasting enough power. Most valuable elf. MVP. <laughs> MVE. <laughs> right, uh, I need two fives. He gets oh! them! He's still alive! <laughs> but most importantly, he's burnt all his power. Oh, I can't, I can't force the team. Shoot you in. No. Activated with the uh, elf witch thing. Hold fast on the ogre troll thing. And, and then, then heal. Heal, so sixes. Mm, one Just wound one is healed. Back. I'm going to spend a power mm -hmm. to activate mm -hmm. my Glade Walker, who has a bow. And with his bow, he is going to shoot. What? Do I shoot the giant? Yeah, we've got to try and win the game, haven't we? I'm going to shoot the giant with a bow in the rear. Uh, so I get clear shot. So three dice is on fives. 
Uh, two hits. Uh, piercing doesn't count against mm. this, so it's th threes. three side. Oh, he saves oh, both on threes. Boo! No. Green tide. It's called Green Tide. So this is two power you spent for a group charge, and they get an extra crush, don't they? Ah, uh, they get an extra crush. Uh, the, uh, excuse me, Kev. He was on that side. So it's King, no, it's no. Kings of War, isn't it? Well, <laughs> Actually, you don't have to in this. I don't, I don't think I have to <laughs> You can change right. it whichever way you want, can't you? So green tides, two models of charge as a group charge, but the only advantage is the extra crush, isn't it? Yeah, an extra crush. So it costs you two power, which is the same cost as a group charge anyway. Yeah. So might as well do it, I guess, if you're orcs. Uh, so we'll do the orc first. So They're both orcs, okay. So we'll do the axe first. So, so we'll come over an obstacle, so yes, we don't. No charge bonus. Yeah, no charge bonus. Two yeah, dice, one for a friend. On the doors. Two hits. That's crush two. Oh. Crush, does that still count in combat, doesn't it? Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. So, five. Five. Fives. Uh, oh. Eight. Oh, oh, he saves them both. Nice. So, no damage caused there. So, then three. Uh, for the crusher. Dice with armor. And uh, one for friend. friend. On fours. Uh, three he's hits. Vicious. Right. He's yeah. Vicious. yeah. Four hits. Four hits at crush two. So, uh, armor three goes to fives. Uh, oh. He's saving two at the minute. And then an eight. He saves three, but he takes the wound, wound. which means he drops a present and a point. Kevin yes! gets his first point. <laughs> yes! It's his first point. Right, most importantly, though, he gets a new present dropped. Where does the present go? Uh, See which direction it goes. One, one, straight one, up. Straight up here. Way. Oh, thank on you. the elf. Yeah, if it lands come on, on the elf, come on, come on. it crushes him. Eight. Oh, it goes a long way. It's ten, ten so inches. So it goes ten it? inches. It lands in the difficult terrain. Straight into. Ah, oh, oh, there was a present in his stocking at the <laughs> yeah, end of his <laughs> bed. Oh, bless. Uh, Nick has walked his huskal into engagement because he was fatigued, so he couldn't fight. Uh, so now my centaur has a much more attractive target. I'm going to actually attack his huskal <laughs> because I actually have a chance against him. Uh, so I will have two dice. And I will just hit him. Just hit him. But I'm plus one to hit, so I'm hitting on threes because I'm taller than him and I'm cavalry. Mm. So threes. Well, of course, I've one got two. Hit. One hit at crush one. Okay, so I'm saving on a five. He's Saves fine. Retaliating. That's um, one. Yep, extra dice for friend. Uh, yeah, extra dice for friend. So it's four and I'm hitting on five. Uh, that was cops, but. One hit. Uh, he's not vicious or anything, so one hit, so uh, crush one. Crush one. I am armor five, so six. Nope, failed that, which will knock me down. I am a warrior, so my nerve is five plus. Uh -oh. And I'm pretty sure I'm out of six yeah. of my guy, in which case he's dead. Oh. Uh, Kev has force fatigued with his crusher to try and do another wound. Uh, vicious. So oh, we'll lap three hits. Three. We'll only crush one this time. So uh, fours. fours. He saves them all. Oh, you swine. No you extra guys. points for Kev. A present has been picked up by the elf. The other elf, in fact. Do, 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 do. Right, and I will. Dun, da, da, dun, da, da, da. The drama is killing us. The suspense is killing us. What oh, is it? Soul, soul Thirst Blade. Oh, that Demonic sounds quite vicious good. Special rule. What happens? I have a vicious special rule. Is that it? And I get plus one XP for each non grunt model I kill with a melee attack. Well, it's great for her. Plus <laughs> one XP. Yeah. yeah so which is irrelevant. Which is irrelevant in this situation. But it's an well, item, the, and if you hold on to it. Yeah, the only person that's actually going to benefit would be a Huskar, I'd imagine. So, Nick has activated his troll, he's going to roll for regeneration, and he's run in into combat over the difficult terrain, six plus. and then we'll fatigue well, to fight my blade is. walker. Sorry, but you just get one dice. Get one dice. Uh, let's check what... Will it not say on there? It should say on the card. Oh, regenerate six plus, yes. Yeah, so six. regenerate six plus. No! no. So he's still got... Uh, well, he's only got one wound. Nick does one of these annoying things of doing counting down wounds, which... Which makes no, far more sense. Than no one up. ever likes. Everyone <laughs> who ever plays this does. 
<laughs> so you're going to hit my Glade Walker, are you? Glade Walker with 4d8 and 5. 4d8, okay, go for it then. With Vicious and Crushing 2. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Those are Vicious. Those two Viciouses. Oops. Oh my god, what's wrong with your fingers? That's another uh, Vicious, that doesn't no, count. Can't re-roll, re-roll. Uh, so, but, uh, I can, you can do the 8 though. including 8. Three. So three hits of crush two. Well, I might as well spend the power I was hard, hard saving for him because he's dead anyway. Uh, three at crush two, so I'm on fives, sevens. Oh, saves oh, two. two. Oh, he takes the last one, that takes him to zero. Uh, I have a nerve of four plus. Bashy bash. He inspires. He inspires himself. A lot! Oh. He inspires himself a lot. But he is not good. But he is not good. With Nick's strategy of throwing more grist to the mill, <laughs> yeah. he's charging with Arscarl against two models that are way better than him. I shouldn't have done um, that. Yeah, I think, I think I, not. I have done that. Too late now. So you've done it. So charged against who? Who are you fighting? Uh, against this one. The Crusher. Oh, it's not a good hit. Two eights. Two eights. Three hits. Is it hitting uh, on four? No, three? it hits on fives. Fives. Two. Crush one there. Spending a power. Two hits, crush one. Last power from Kev. Fours, fives. Two saves, saves him. Will we retaliate? I'm not. Kev? I will retaliate. Sort of teeny. Uh, three dice on fours. And vicious. vicious. Uh, eight. An eight. Three hits. Three hits at crush one. Okay, some saving on fives. Loves it. It's fine. What was that? Phew. <laughs> Dull combat in the end, wasn't it? <laughs> and uh, that, I'll declare. Start around three is the situation. Uh, four power for me, four power for Nick, and just five for Kev, despite having loads of dice. He only managed to get five. So who's going to go first? Who has a one? Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Giant first. Uh, my turn to roll. Oh, goodness me. Come on. For straight back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do we have one here? Yeah, one here. Yeah. Two yeah, he's carried on that way. He could run into all those guys over there. So, uh, nine, nine inches. inches. He's not going to get anyone. So he's not going to get anyone. So he's coming up right. here, but Kev has to make two. Armor saves for these guys. No, they shouldn't two, die. Though. Well, they won't die, actually. Who are you rolling for there with? Uh, oh, sorry. So it's, well, you can take it for both, so they've both yeah. saved, haven't they? This is armor five, anyway. No crush on that. So they both take, don't take any wounds, and there goes the giant. Uh, see who goes first. A one. No. Two. I am a two. Ba, 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 da, ba, ba, ba. Oh, I lose. He's always rushing in first. People have said I'm a two before <laughs> now, <actually. laughs> It's a joke there somewhere. Uh, right, so first off, I'm going to cheat yeah. and spend a power for the Christmas magic to transfer the bow from my stricken Glade Walker Druid onto my Salamander, who may then run away. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, he is possibly exactly going to run away, actually. Uh, I will also then spend a power for my Pathfinder ability, and then he is going to run away. That Salamander is literally going to run away. And there he is hiding. He has run and fatigued to walk around the building. I will then play an extra activation and do something very similar with my <laughs> centaur. So my centaur is also going to do that. Because I, I. Oh, before I do any of this, actually, I need to check this guy can actually even do that. Because I'm broken. He doesn't. He, uh, he gets a reward. Inspired yeah. and he doesn't. So actually, he doesn't go all the way around there at all. What he does is he picks up the thing and runs this way and stops there on a board edge. I think you go to your deployment zone, wouldn't you? That is my deployment zone, still. Oh, okay. A uh, bit further over. Would he have gone all the way? So he wouldn't quite have reached the table edge if he goes to the deployment zone. So he ends up actually over there, which is less good. Because uh, my war bomb is broken, so he failed his nerve test. So what am I going to do now? I said I was going to play an extra activation. Extra activation, nerve test on the centaur. It's failed. Oh, gosh. Five plus, re inspired. 
by a body on the floor. <laughs> yeah. uh, I can't charge, so he's going to run <whistles> to there, and then fatigue to fight. So that will give me two dice. Uh, Screw it, we'll throw the last one in. Three dice. Fighting on threes, because I am taller than you. Mm -hmm. Two hits at crush one. No smash activated, unfortunately. Crush one, so I'm saving on fives. Yeah, I'll save power for something more important. Ah, it takes a wound. Yes. Any retaliating? That would activate if you did, because you're already fatigued. Yep. Uh, you keep your fatigue on you. And you mark that Yeah. That's a oh, I thought you can use your fatigue and mark you that's fatigue. Uh, so, no. <laughs> Going next, and then Nick, because Nick had the double card. One for a friend? Uh, he's not in the combat, is he? So that's oh, the that's leader true. fighting. Uh, Only gets one, one hit. hit. One hit. A crush one. Against uh, the crusher against the Huskar. Uh, I'll throw a power in. Defending. So with an extra hit, power. So crush ones and one fives. Saves, saves it saves with a two it. and a six. And you may retaliate if you want. Why didn't you not activate? Um, yeah, might as well. I'll retaliate. Achieve me. Uh, so three hitting on five. Do I throw a power in? Yep. Four hit on fives. Crush one. Uh, one. Uh, yeah, one. One hit. One hit. Crush one. Uh, so four goes to fives. No. Takes a wound. Finally takes a wound. Activation for the great axe of charging. Onto the fatigued husk our friend. And charging. Uh, he's not vicious, is he? No. So just three hits. Three but hits. Crush two. Crush two. Crush two. Crush two of power. Another power. So you're on sixes, uh, on sixes. sixes. Uh, he gets two eights. Still taking a wound at the minute. That's fine because he survives that. No, he didn't take a wound on three eights though. Uh, no. Retaliating. No. Last power. Last power has been spent to transfer the bow from this husk. Oh, <laughs> magical gifted Christmas. Milady. Death is about to fall on my Glade Walker. So yes, how many dice are you going to roll? Um, so my regenerate on a six plus. Gets yes. it. So back yes. to full wounds. Full wounds. Um, One little action to fight me. One little action to fight you. So it is a 48 base. Uh, you're lying on the floor, so I'm plus one to hit. So I'm hitting you on fours. Still got this. Hold it. <laughs> One at crushing three, though. Uh, well, yeah. Nope, dead. And you're dead. I am dead. Bye, Great Walker Druid. Which means I can now um, follow up. Fatigue attack from the Great, great Axe. Attack. With an extra friend and extra dice, wasn't it? Uh, no, I haven't put an extra dice. Just in. an extra friend. Oh, four hits at crush two. No power left to spend. It's Squished Huskarl coming up. Problematic. Saving on sixes. Oh, that's not sixes, that. That's no, definitely so not sixes. Nerf check at minus one. So, uh, it's not pretty good. So, five. So, 50 for chance. No. Oh, no, he is him. gone. Yeah, bye bye. Well, at least he. Our famous elf has moved over there and is now clear shotting. Clear shotting? No, there's no. It's not clear shotting because the crusher's in. Uh, the great axe is in the way. Yeah, so I'm shooting the crusher. Shooting the crusher. One, One hit. hit. So he survives. No! Takes another wound. That's the second wound. One more and he's gone, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. I do stupid things, I win the game. So he's charged the giant in the rear. He gets two Ooh. hits with an eight. Two hits. Two hits. Two hits. Crush two in the rear. So, fives. Oh, he doesn't oh, wound! No, it's only one. It's only one. So he gets a victory point, which takes you up to two. Oh, it takes me to the heady heights of two. And then he drops a present, more importantly. Where's it going to go? Uh, direction is two. So that corner right there. Way. Towards the orcs. Uh, one, three, three inches. inches. Oh, Lands oh, pretty so much on the head of the Grey Tag, so just in front of him. So I think he needs an extra big present. Hit, yeah, but, uh, 
So the present is so large and fell from such a height that it's landed on the great axe and might even injure him. It yes. does! It does a wound! Here's milk based beverage. What? Oh, crush <laughs> Right, Huskar, uh, um, charge. Yeah, so three day base, one for a charge. Hitting on, Hitting on fives. fives. Oh, it's a good oh. roll. Three with an eight. Four. Four. He's only got one wound left, one. doesn't he? So I will put some power in. So I'm looking for fives. Uh, gets three at the minute. One more to save on that eight. Oh. No! He's going What's on the down? floor. Come on, come on. Nerve, he's fouled his nerve. And a oh. reroll for inspiring, he keeps it. But he's on the floor. He's on the floor. Missing his friend, the skulk has run all the way around the hill to try shooting again at his erstwhile enemy, the elf. Well, I've got no power to save her now. And gets one hit. One hit. measly hit. But it might be enough. It might be enough. I'm saving on a five. Oh! oh! Finally! She dies! Finally, she dies. She she dies. She's a grunt. Oh. Poor Elfie Delphi. The elf in the fire pit is going to shoot at the Great Axe. The presents, despite their size, do not block line of sight. So, so uh, is the Great Axe fatigued? Yeah. Yeah, I need to, I need to put a fatigue on him now. Yeah. And he, he only has one wound left, doesn't yeah. he? Yes, because yep. that's it. Yes, okay. There's just all the counters there. So shooting with the Shooting elf. on fours. Come on, Elfie Elf. That's shocking. That's that's not ideal. No, oh, have you not got marksman? There are no. no there are no words for how bad that is. Then ran away a little bit of his elf, and then Godspeaker fireballing in the butt of the Huskarl. And that's on fours. Two hits, piercing one though for the rear. Uh, I'm saving on fives. Because he's no longer he's engaged, fine. of course, so he's fine. I'll then walk. Here, fatigue to cast fuel. This takes off fatigue off other models. Uh, uh, two, two, isn't it? And an eight explodes. Uh, eight, two. actually, no, an eight doesn't explode, is it? I think it does on spell rolls. Right, so two. Who you taking the fatigue off? The Morax, Great Axe, sorry, and the Crusher. Hang on. Uh, which elf? Elf Witch, Ice Queen. Ice Queen. Ice Queen just went and hid in the wood. And over here we just had this Crusher move a little bit closer to the Giant because he was fatigued. And now the Huskarl is going to try and hit me. He was fatigued, so his only action is to attack my Centaur. I can't retaliate, of course, because I'm already fatigued. Don't tell you. So, three uh, dice on fives. Two dice in on fives. Oh, that Shocking. Was wild. Absolutely. Why do I even bother recording it? <laughs> Cheaty Kev shenanigans. Forcing fatigue to stand up his Crusher, who obviously had his fatigue removed a moment ago using the God Fuel. Convenient, that. Kev has managed to make a God Speaker work, it seems, in this game. And I will force fatigue over here. Well, everyone else is finished, which is why Kev's forced fatigue in a second time. To attack again with his Grunt. His so only two dice. Oh, oh when you got two eights, though. Uh, two hits, isn't it? Three, four hits. Isn't he on four, is he? The normal axe. Great axe, melee four. He's a normal axe. Yeah. Axe. All right, four. Yeah, Wait. four hits. Jeez. Okay, so well, it's a crush, crush one, two, two for the rear. So, so five. Fives. Bound to be another present. It is another victory point presents. and a present. Oh, there's only one present. Two, no, two presents. You get a present for every wound. You only get one. Oh, okay. Two so presents. So one victory point for hitting him, and then first present goes four. four. One, two, three, four. four. Down goes this that way. way. That's good for Kev. Yeah. Where's it going to go? Where's it go? Nine, Nine inches. inches. So over here, one present down there, and then the next present. Seven. Seven. That's more Good. this way. Yeah, no, that'll be eight. So it'll be seven that way. How many inches is that going to go? Oh, oh, nine inches nine as well. Inches. So sort of here, just so by the wall there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Let's have a green present. Another That's Christmas present there. Oh. Finally, oh, the goodness is falling from the air. <laughs> uh, and that is going to be the end of round three. Right, we are two victory points for me, two for Nick, and three now for Kev, the dark yeah. horse that he yeah. is.
So at the start of round four, the giant you can see has wandered over here. This guy survived his breakaway, but this one has been hit with a proper wallop, that's the crusher. And so he's going to get the six dice on fives, because he was in two inches of the path of the giant. The giant also picked up one of the presents that he just dropped, popped it straight back in his backpack. Uh, it was a pretty good hit, three hits at crush two, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. So... Four, five, sixes. Can I spend power? You can. Yeah, you can. You haven't put any power dice in. <laughs> <laughs> he survives. He's taking it. No, he's fine. Yeah, he's he survived he's anyway. Survived now. It was three hits, wasn't it? Yeah. So he's knocked down. Four. Who has an ace? Me. <laughs> <laughs> I will activate my salamander. Hmm. See how this goes. Six plus. No. It's a bit shit. You have to run that way. Uh, that's that rather has to run that way. Uh, does, it, does he not? Does he go to base edge? Doesn't he? Yeah. What happens when he reaches it? I think I just do the base edge and have to take another nerve test. Yeah. If I, yep. So I reach the base edge, and then have to pass another nerve test. Otherwise, I'm off. I failed, I am off. He has a present with him. Look, he has a present, so let's say you keep that present. <laughs> so despite losing a man, he's kept his present. Yes! That's a victory point! <laughs> I will pay for an extra activation, and I will activate this guy, who will punch your Huskar before you put Holdfast on him. Uh, I will spend a power to give an extra dice, which could be three dice. Hitting on three, because I'm taller than you. Actually, I'm headstrong as well, so I could roll that. Didn't get the headstrong. Uh, I get two hits at crush one. Okay. On you. Saving on fours normally, isn't it? It is saving on fours. Do I want to save him? Only one wound left. Only four power. We're both all a bit short on power this round. Yeah. Uh, I think we were all at about four, didn't we? Kev's already spent some on his crusher. <laughs> Keep him alive. Do you want to save him? Oh god, Nick, come on. <laughs> yeah, I'll chuck the power in. So, saving on fives. You did two, didn't you? Yep. He down! Takes a wound, puts him on the floor. Wound, puts him on the floor. Nerve of four, isn't it? Nerve of four. So he's, f he's okay. Do I bother spending a power for that stupid thing? You do two wounds? Yes, I do. You do two save one. Uh, I, yeah. You've got two wins normally, isn't Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I'll spend a power to use Steady to stay on my feet. Yes! He stays on, he his, stays feet. on his feet! Are you um, retaliating then? But I will not retaliate. You are not fatigued, are you? Um, uh, no, because you, you, you avoided yeah, you, it Steady. No, you got a down but not out result, so you get marked as fatigued. And you get knocked down. Right, so and it only stops you yeah, from getting, getting knocked, knocked down. down. Oh, I thought it stopped both. Nick has run out of the wood bravely to force fatigue and then pick up the present. What's it gonna be? Come da -da 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 -da. On. It's a helm of command! Oh, just what she needs! She's what so commanding in that. Until the end of the round, what are they going to Oh, great. Immediately, I can automatically pass any nerve test, so actually, that's. Yeah. No, yeah, but I'm not going to use it, am I? More importantly, it's a point. She can carry two things because she is a character. Yeah. Me? Activating the God Speaker to cast God Fuel because he wants to take the fatigue off and manages to take three fatigue off. There's only two within range. So he takes one off the Crusher and one off the Skulk. For next activation, the Morax walks into combat and fatigues to fight and now has a friend, friend in the fight the yeah. because there's no fatigue on the Crusher Thanks. anymore. So there's going to be four dice now, isn't it? Yeah. On fours. fours. Of crush two. Two hits, crush two. Throw a power in. This guy's already got one wound, has he? Or? He has got one wound. Yeah. Uh, so it's crush two, so I'm saving on sixes. I need two of them. Oh, he Five. loves it. Are you retaliating? No. Nope. Not against that. Fatigued. Oh, he's fatigued, I guess, isn't he? Retaliation by the Huskarl. So Against the Great Axe. Fives. Ouch! Okay. Uh, three hits. Three hits, so crushing one. Uh, sevens. Could be a dead. It is looking very like a so dead. That's minus two, isn't it? Yeah, nerve minus two. Five, six, seven. 
And he's gone once. Inspired. Gone twice. Yes. Ha 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 ha. Finally. Uh, Nick's now going to activate the same Huskar. Takes his fatigue off, of course. And short action is going to fight the Crusher. Oh, I can't force fatigue on me. That ruins that plan. Uh, just one just hit. Just one hit to crush one, but it could be enough. Could be enough. So if it puts him down, it'll be enough. You're going to spend your last power, are you, Kev? I think I need... Not unreasonable, probably. Mm. Oh, God, he's thinking. Here we go. Oh, the head's coming out. He's scratching it. That's why he's got no hair left. He's been scratching his head thinking about games too much. Power, 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 power. power. So, two, uh, so it's one hit. One hit, yeah. Fives. Got him. And retaliate. Three dice on fours, vicious, and crush one. Oh, ouch. Four hits at crush one. Crush one, crush two. Crush one. Crush one. So I'm saving the fives. This could be it. Oh, it's bad. Uh, so, so three minus two. two. Uh, so six. Oh, oh he's no gone. inspiring. Bye bye. He was valiant effort. But... It was, it was. Uh, I am going to force fatigue on my one remaining model mm. to fight. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to throw another power in it to give me three dice. I'll try and kill this Huskar. Three dice on threes because I'm bigger than him. Oh, three with an eight. Four at crush one. Four dice, crush one. Saving fives. I don't need them all. I uh, only got one. I only got one. So, so nerve minus, minus two, two again. Six to six. No inspiring again. Oh, bye bye. bye, -bye. So bye, -bye. He's dead as well. <laughs> oh, things are going Suddenly wrong. that centaur feels a little safer. Yeah. <laughs> Desperate measures. Move fatigue to shoot on the skull. Really wants to kill this the is, skull. This is revenge. This is the wounded one. I didn't mean to roll that eight. So yeah. that be... One so here. It's not going to be enough. Actually, it's not going to be enough, is it? Actually, I meant to roll that eight. It was entirely. <laughs> <laughs> it is oh! enough. Finally, <laughs> gets rid of the last skulk. Last action for Nick is to run because he was facing the wrong direction into uh, engagement with my centaur and fatigue to fight him. So was it four dice? Four dice. Hitting on five. Going to miss with a mortar. Why bother? No, I shouldn't have done it. Shouldn't have done it. Oh, he's missed with most, but he has no, got a seven and an eight. I have got vicious. Right, because he's got the soul blade on it. So he I never mentioned before he put a power to transfer the soul he blade. Gets onto anyway. Oh, is he? Right. Yeah. Okay, so the eight. Two. Uh vicious. So we can re-roll that. Uh, really was that wrong. the eight, was it? Yeah, yeah so, so three, three hits. hits. Okay, watch crush. Two. I am five, so sevens. I have no power. Save one! That's critical. So two wounds. I healed one before. I am not dead. But I might be knocked down, but that's irrelevant. You got pound? I don't have pound. Oh, not even knocked down. No. Uh, <laughs> oh, so fine. <laughs> uh, that's me declared. The Dark Crusher Lord's Onyx Ring has picked up the Dark Lord's Onyx Ring. Where was, where was the giant keeping his ring? <laughs> oh my goodness. That's, fun. That's just what I asked for Christmas, that was on my Santa list! Uh, and then any other actions for the round? Ah, uh, so this will... Yeah, that was pretty much it. Everyone else is fatigued, can't do anything. And that is it at the end of round four. We're calling it round four because we've run out of time in the club. So I had two victory points from injuries and another two from items, so I go to four. Nick, what did you have? I have two victory points from injuries and three from items. So that's five. And Kev? I have three victory points from injuries and one item. Just one from items. <laughs> so Goodbye! it's Nick for the win! Five plays four plays four. Very good. That was jolly good. Well done, Nick! Hooray! Finally a victory! Thank you, thank Their you. Their first ever victory. No, I beat Kev last week. Thank you. Yeah. I, I, I beat you... <laughs> I beat you... <laughs> when did I beat you? I didn't know that one. So that's fun, we tried a few different things there. So yeah. obviously Christmas themed. Merry Christmas. Um, so a little bit silly, but uh, yeah. actually Giants and I were quite fun with the presents dropping out, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, I thought that was quite enjoyable. I think there's a couple of things we'll tweak. Um, 
and obviously we'll share the scenario so everyone can have their own Christmas fun. Um, but I, I really enjoyed it. I think I got very lucky. I got lucky to get a couple of shots at the at the uh, at Santa very early. I on. think most of, I got a couple of lucky Bloody shots. Elf got yeah. lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 so most <laughs> I think I can have three paint and some gold and yeah. Uh, yeah, some of the damage on the giant was quite fluky really, wasn't it? It was yeah. uh bows, wasn't it, that did most of the early damage. Yeah. Um I mean a decent damage that was put on was a bit more guaranteed was your guys when they got yeah. in there, wasn't it? Okay. Yeah. But, um, but I guess that's fine, isn't it? and it dropped presents. And without dropping the presents, I don't think it would have been as much fun actually, because they added an extra element yeah, yeah, hunting yeah, yeah, around yeah. actually. Yeah. Um, and then trying to kill people who did have presents, although you were clearly inept at that. <laughs> <laughs> Only because you ran away. Of course, <laughs> <laughs> the last two rounds ran away. <laughs> help me, help me. Um, yeah, but it was fun, though, wasn't it? It was good. I enjoyed that. And the yeah, multiplayer okay. thing worked right, didn't it? I really enjoyed the well, multiplayer like aspects. Yeah, I would definitely want to play more multiplayer games. Thank God, I think that was a, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, so the shooting into combat and the initiative. Oh yeah, that was interesting. Yeah. 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 And it, so the only thing we didn't really play out of there was uh, we didn't form any alliances. That was, uh, never, gonna happen. That was never ever gonna happen. <laughs> no Christmas spirit. No. <laughs> that was one of the other items. Yeah. yeah. It was wrapped up in a bar. <laughs> Right, great. Well, I hope you've all enjoyed watching this uh, festive uh, event. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a lovely Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, then have a lovely time off if you're off work. So um, we'll catch up with you in 2020. Oh, a whole Exciting. year away. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching, guys. Please check out uh, the Way of Fire Facebook group and check out the Way of Fire podcast. Bye. See ya. Bye.